The Nevis Disaster Management Department is looking forward to this year's multi-hazard campaign and endeavors to get the public involved as much as possible. The year 2020 has kicked off with the Charlestown Primary School promoting earthquake awareness in the month of January for the school-based multi-hazard campaign. In partnership with the Department of Education, the Nevis Disaster Management Department initiative aims to utilize school children as agents to disseminate monthly disaster awareness messages on an assigned hazard. The aim is to advise the general public of what to do before, during, and after the occurrences, as well as identifying their evacuation routes. This year, the Charlestown Primary School has shifted its earthquake awareness scope to outreach presentations to government institutions. Earthquakes are the shaking, rolling, or a sudden shock of the Earth's surface. Earthquakes can be felt over large areas, although they usually last less than one minute. Earthquakes can happen at any time in the Car and the Caribbean is known to experience them. What to do before an earthquake? Build an emergency kit, make a family communication plan, know the safe spots in every room under a sturdy table or against an inside wall. Ask your family to hold earthquake drills, drop cover and hold on. During, if inside, drop to the ground. Take cover under a sturdy table or other heavy furniture. If there is nothing to get under, cover your face and head with your arms and crouch near an inside wall. Hold on until the shaking stops. Stay away from windows, glass, lighting fixtures, or furniture that could fall, like bookcases. Stay inside. If outside, stay here. Move away from buildings, street lights, and wires. They may fall and hurt you. Stay out in the open until the shaking stops. If buildings may collapse and hurt you, Cover your mouth and nose with your shirt. Do not scream. You could breathe in dust. Tap on a pipe or wall so that rescuers can find you. After, except after death, they are usually not as strong but can, damage, but can cause damage. Open cabinets carefully. Objects may have moved and could fall on you. Text daughter, as you may block the phone lines for emergency workers. Words to me. Seismic activity is another word for earthquake along the tremors, quake, and shaking. Fault line. Crack in the rocks below the earth's surface. Aftershock. A small, a small earthquake that, that follows the main shock or previous earthquake. Epicenter. The center of an earthquake from which seismic waves are sent spherically in many directions. Sismograph, a machine that measures an earthquake. Last week, grade 5 students made presentations to Assistant Secretary with responsibility for disaster management, Russell Jeffers, as well as Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Finance, Colin Doerr. Well, I'm quite happy to see that even at this early stage, they are familiarized yourself with what to do in the event of an earthquake. These are things they can plan for. They happen not suddenly, they're not like a hurricane, they can know it's coming. And so it's good that you're equipped and armed with the knowledge that you can respond immediately when these things happen. So I'm happy that we are able to be the ambassadors and the speakers promoting this aspect of our community. Congratulations, please continue doing so. On Tuesday, January 28th, the students will visit the Premier's Ministry, the Ministry of Education, and the Ministry of Health. A grand creative earthquake awareness presentation will be made at the school on Friday, January 31st. Meantime, taking place simultaneously with the school-based multi-hazard awareness campaign is the faith-based component. The Charlestown Wesleyan Holiness Church will spearhead earthquake hazard this month. A panel discussion on earthquake will be held on Wednesday, January 29th at the church. The topics to be discussed include awareness and preparedness, earthquake resistant construction of new structures and seismic strengthening or retrofitting of existing priority structures, incident command system, search and rescue, mass casualty, as well as impact on agriculture and emergency shelters. 
All stakeholders are welcome to be a part of this important discussion. The Nevis Disaster Management Department believes it can effectively spread awareness in an informative yet intriguing manner that all stakeholders can be a part of.